back to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, cat lady box unboxings, vegan taste tests, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow Spoonies. If any of that interests you, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Also make sure to hit that bell because you'll get notified every single time I post, which is every Monday and Thursday. I will also be uploading probably quite a bit more frequent during Vlogtober, which I'm super excited about. So yeah, definitely hit that bell and give me a big ol' thumbs up. Today, um, we are doing a, a large Target haul. <laughs> I have a lot of Halloween decor and I had hoped to like actually film in store for this, but majority of the times I went, it would say in stock on the website and then it wasn't there, which was super frustrating. So I have found, here's a tip, if you are also dealing with that, make sure when you look up the item on the website, it one tells you it's available for pickup and it gives you an aisle number or an aisle location. The aisle location I think is specifically important because that lets you know it's actually on the floor. Because a lot of times it'll say in stock and it could just mean it's still in the back room and it hasn't actually gotten to the floor for sale. And so many times I went because I thought stuff was available and it wasn't. And then it got to the point where I would just go and kind of stop in whenever I was out running other errands and that's when I actually found some stuff and I wasn't prepared to film. So I figured I'd rather just do a haul for you all because um, there's a decent amount to show. <laughs> First, I did want to show you my outfit. Um, this is not from a Target. Uh, I think actually both of these items are from Hot Topics website, but I have a really fun like striped meshy shirt. Wow, that was hard to say. Um, I mean, it's obviously not Halloween oriented. I just think it's really cute, especially if you have a, a darker aesthetic or, you know, goth. This is super cute. And then the dress. So this is a jack-o'-lantern dress. And oh my lord, it has pockets, friends. Like, let me kind of move my chair. It's super cute. It comes to about like a little lower than knee length on me. Um, granted, I am 5'1", so take that with a grain of salt. Um, but I, I love this dress. It's so comfortable. It's like stretchy cotton. So check their website. I don't know if they're still available. A lot of their Halloween stuff was gone like in and out of stock. So maybe check it. But I thought I would show you. I have a lot of really fun Halloween and spooky outfits planned for this month. And so each time I film, I'll probably show you what I'm wearing just because I'm super excited to finally get to wear some of these things. Even though I might wear them around the house pretty much year round. It's just kind of fun to share them with you all as well because I've actually found some fun stuff recently. Anyway, let's get to the Target haul. Um, like I said, it's uh, quite a bit of stuff, but I'm done for the year. I've told my husband I'm done. I, I don't have space for any more things, if anything. I've had to buy so many new storage tubs from, you know, this, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Old Time Pottery at home this year. Um, I have acquired some new things. So, First, let's start. I'm gonna do our co-host. I'm so excited because I have wanted one of these for a really long time. Let me go get her for you. Okay, so here's our co-host. I'm so excited. I actually don't have a name, a name for her just yet, but oh, she obviously hasn't had her coffee yet this morning, so let me <laughs> get her woken up for you. Do you see? She lights up green. I'm so very excited. This is the only one I've seen that's like the full like chest lights up and it's not just the eyes. I'm really excited. I like the coloring on this. I almost got one of the ones at Home Depot because they were a little bit cheaper, but they were like so, like they had stained it. You could tell they had stained the white, but it was like so brown that I just, I don't know. I wanted more of an actual like kind of bone color. So I'm super excited for her. If you have any name suggestions, comment down below. I think she's so lovely. I'm going to put her on my porch. I'm going to zip tie her to the bench so no one steals her. <laughs> but, all right, stay there, my darling. And then it is posable as well. Um, I didn't see this in store. I actually got this online for pickup. So um, definitely you may have to check that. Oh, make sure she's in frame. There you are, darling. <sighs> of course, it wouldn't be a video of... Miss Dots wasn't trying to get into something. Let me go get her out from behind the TV because she's going crazy. I'll be back. All right. 
hopefully Dottie will <laughs> chill out. Okay, so I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna show you some of the dollar spot bullseye playground stuff I got previously, like the little bat candle holders and some trees and all that. But I did get a couple more things since then, so let me go into that first. I got this, it's like a, probably a foam bat covered in cloth, or foam bat, foam <laughs> pumpkin covered in like this pastel goth bat print. I really love it. I'm probably actually going to put this in my bedroom because I don't know. It just looks cute and that'll be oh, so many things are going to be year round for me except for maybe the straight up jack lanterns but a lot of things I'm justifying buying these because I'm going to find a way to use them year round. <laughs> Next thing I did get one of the gumball holder. Oh my lord. I don't know why that took me so long but I got one of these. I feel like I don't know. I'm either going to put some craft supplies in this or I might put cat treats. I'm not quite sure, but I thought it was cute. I like the black. Um, our kitchen has a lot of black decor, so I figure it will fit in there one way or another. And I got a couple of the little ceramic pumpkins. So I got the one that says boo on it, one that has these like little bat cutouts, bat and star cutouts, if you can kind of see that. And the other one is this orange and white striped Jack lantern. I thought these were all super cute. They were each like three dollars, I think. So, and the last thing that I got were these orange little pedestals with the cloches. Um, I'm actually putting these away. These are going to be for my like spring summer decor because if you've seen my videos before, you know I have a lot of orange decor in my living room. So I'm probably going to end up putting these on my mantle in the spring to like hold candles or just other decor. But I thought these were fun. It's hard to actually find orange stuff throughout the year, so these were a good find for me. <laughs> All right, so that's everything from the dollar section. Let me go into, let's do the baking stuff next. Um, I didn't get too much. I tried to be really good. Um, I did get this jack-o'-lantern mold pan. It is silicone, but the edges are metal. And I think it's like meant for like muffins or cupcakes or that kind of thing. But I'm actually going to try, and I'm going to do this for, as far as uh, part of Vlogoween, I'm gonna try doing some like chocolates. So I'm really excited to kind of see what to do with that. I have a couple ideas, so um, definitely stay tuned for that. But I think this will be really cool. It'll be a good way to get that Jack Lantern face to really show. The other thing I got were these little, it's like gingerbread house, but for Halloween. Um, I got two of these, so Craig and I are going to do those for Vlogoween as well. I think those will be super cute and <laughs> just a fun way for us to do something together in a video because you guys seem to enjoy it in the videos too, so I have two of those. Oh my lord, where should we go next? There's so much. Um, okay, we'll do, I know what we're going to do. We'll do the ghoulish garden stuff because I honestly never seen much of the ghoulish garden stuff in person, so I was kind of excited. Um, they had these little flower picks that, and the flowers got little teeth. So I got two sets of these to just add to um, a couple uh, arrangements. And then these other pieces are actually gonna go in my bathroom. So it's the little ghoulish daisy, they have a little small one. And then they have the large one which again has that, it's like creepy cute daisy face. I love it. Our bathroom is black and white striped and I thought this was a fun way to just add some like spooky flowers to it without being like straight up black. I will probably change the little felt flowers to be black or maybe just straight up green, but I really like this. I thought it was a beautiful piece because I've not seen this one in person and I really like it. All right, I'll show you this piece. I found this and I was really excited by it. Um, and it's this like Ouija board tray. You can kind of see. And I actually got this. I'm using it for my crafts, especially like jewelry stuff. I just put all of it on the tray, like whatever project I'm working on. And that way I can take it from room to room. Because sometimes I want to sit on the couch and work on something. Sometimes I'm sitting at the dining table. So this way is an easy way to carry all the stuff rather than trying to carry lots of little things. It just makes it much easier on my hands. So um, yeah, I really love this piece. And it's like nice, he like strong, heavy wood. So it feels like it's gonna hold up really well and I really like it. All right, I did, oh, this is actually, I guess another dollar section thing. Got this spiderweb pillow. 
Um, the other side does say, hey boo, I didn't know that when I bought it. I just really love the spider web design, so love that. Let's do a blanket. So we did pillows. This is one of their like hide and eek blankets. Different jack-o'-lantern faces on it. It's black, plushy, plushy fabric. I love these, especially for the cats. I tend to just throw them on the floor in different little areas or like in baskets because then they love to sleep in these and kind of just like snuggle up in it. So these are great for pets. I might have a friend who her dogs loves them. So I think these are, are great for that. Okay, speaking of blankets, oh, this is hefty. I got this cauldron, not 100% certain what I was gonna do with it, but I decided to use it as a blanket holder. And this was the threshold cauldron that's got the little handle. This is like super well made, very heavy duty. Um, and I'm just using it to hold some blankets. I just put it in our living room, just off to the side. And it's super cute for holding blankets. It holds like two, these are two big, really plush um, Halloween throws. So I'm just using it to hold that. I'm probably gonna keep this out year round. This for me, it's, you know, it just looks like a black kind of container until you look at it and you're like, is that a cauldron? <laughs> Which I really love. So it's like sneaking little bits of witchiness in there where you wouldn't expect it. So I love this piece so, so much. I'm really glad I found it. Again, this for me was another one of those um, buy online pick up in store because mine didn't have it out just yet, but I was able to pick it up so Super excited for that definitely try that if there's things that maybe they don't specifically say I don't know they have pick up and it's something you know You want to already you don't need to like look at it to the side definitely do pick up in store because that's been such a lifesaver um, and so just time saver honestly, so super excited for this Okay, this also I got actually to hold <laughs> for Halloween, I do um, like goodie bags for all the trick or treaters. I do like little bags that have like pencils and stickers and little bubbles sometimes, and then lots of different little candies in it. So I thought this would be great to hold the goodie bags. And then I thought the rest of the time of the year, I can actually use this in my living room also as a blanket holder because again, it's orange. It fits my decor. I thought it worked perfectly. And I think this was this was like five dollars for this massive pail. So this was such a good value to me. Um, definitely check though my store. There were these and then right next to it, there were some that were just orange with no face decaled on it. So I feel like those were ones that didn't get finished completely but somehow still hit the floor. So definitely check the one that you grab, make sure it's got the face on it. <laughs> these next items I actually got to use during summer, which I'm guessing if you've seen the Target stuff, you might have an idea of what I got. <laughs> so first one is the strawberry skull. So cool. So weird to have like Halloween fruit, but I'm enjoying it. Um, I got the watermelon as well. It's just, oh. I'm gonna show you something else that we got that I'm gonna use year-round in the kitchen that this will go with. But I got, um, and I have two more of these kind of things. I got these to do like a summerween kind of decor thing. So um, I didn't take it out yet, but there's eh, the oranges. <laughs> I love their silly faces. And then I also got the pears. So we have a good variety of colors. Two things that are green, one's orange and one's red. So it kind of mixes it all up. But I really like these items. I know they were, it's super unique. You don't see like summery Halloween stuff. So I thought, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it. I think it'll be great for next summer to do a whole little thing in my kitchen of like <laughs> just jack-o'-lanterns. It makes me smile. All right, so these next things, I actually got two different sizes and it is the lanterns. I was so excited to find these um, this is the small one and just this nice metal black matte black lantern and it does open up right here I think there's a little door right there you see the top and then there's these little bats you can kind of see it there's a little bat <laughs> right there and I just think these are so pretty I got let me also show you the large one so you can get the size comparison on these so it's a little bit bigger, but I'm putting these um, on top of my bookshelf in the dining room. Um, or actually, I have like four bookshelves. So I'm going to put them on top. 
Um, these are going to be year round for me. That's another reason why I justified buying them because I can decorate them for each season, put different candles in it, put different maybe floral around it. So I really love these pieces. They're a nice like all year round piece for me for sure. Okay, so let me show you. I got this bat steak. I think is actually meant to be so this indoor or outdoor bat steak. I'm actually going to try using this indoor because I don't have a plug outdoors. Um, so I'm going to find somewhere to put this either in a actual planter or maybe try hanging it on the wall if I can. But I thought it was really cute. I've never seen one of these in person. Again, I've, I've wanted one of these for a couple of years now. So I'm excited to finally have one. It looks really, really nice. We're not too much left. I'm doing all right. This is, oh my gosh. So this is the thing I was telling you I was going to put in my kitchen. <laughs> I got one of the little skeleton bodies. I thought I'm going to put them on top of my kitchen um, cabinets. I have a little space up there to decorate. So I'm going to put them up there, keep them up there year round because I have a lot of like skeleton decor in there. Like my spoon rest is a skeleton, my utensil holders is a skeleton hands. Like I have so much skeleton stuff. So I thought this would just kind of be cute in there. And then throughout the seasons, change the head on it. So for summer, <laughs> gonna be a little watermelon skeleton um i have another jack lantern i'll show you that i'm gonna do actually for halloween time i'm sure i'll find something to put on there each season jenny head <laughs> i don't know this thing is super adorable i'm really excited to find this because every time i went there was just the scarecrow one and this last time i went i saw this and i was like oh I had already said I was not going to be buying any more Halloween. I saw this one and I told my husband, I was like, I'm so sorry I'm buying this because it's so cute and for us we can use it year round. So I think it's 100% worth it. And it's really hefty. Like it's it's a heavy piece. I don't feel like it's super cheaply made um, for what, I think it was like $15. So I think it's, it's definitely worth it to me. She's going to be an outdoor decor and I have a couple more outdoor decor and then we have jack-o'-lanterns. Um, I went a little crazy on jack-o'-lanterns this year because I only actually have two jack-o'-lanterns and one of those, actually maybe three, one is like really delicate ceramic for my mother-in-law. I'm always scared to put it out because I'm afraid it's going to break. It's beautiful, like very old kind of German looking jack-o'-lantern, like just very folk arty looking jack-o'-lantern. Um, the other one's just like this really cheap jack-o'-lantern that I've had for like 10 years and like some of the orange is starting to fade off and it's becoming like... <laughs> not rotted looking but it just doesn't look great so this year I found a lot of really fun um designs and so I kind of wanted to just stock up until I actually have some jack-o'-lanterns but let me do the outside decor first I only got a couple things besides our dear lady here so let me show you first thing is this bat and it is a poseable bat like you can move the arms well they do click into place but what I'm planning to do um, on my porch actually is put up a whole bunch of different spider web and then also put some fishing wire on either side of the wings here and just have the bat kind of hanging on my porch. I'll show you, I'll, I will be doing some decorate with me videos. So I'll definitely, when I do the outside one, you'll see what I mean, but I love this one. This is such a massive bat piece. And again, I love that the arms can be posable. Um, that helps, I think, when trying to get it into place, but the head moves, and it's just, uh, if only this lit up as well, but I have some lights I think I might try and put in it for outside, but this is super cool. I really love it. Okay, and the other outdoor thing I got is this spider. These legs unfurl, and it becomes, like, super stretched out spider, but it's kind of black, furry. <laughs> Ooh, cute little face and orange and black striped I have there's um they sell one that's like orange and black striped and it lights up and it's like I don't know maybe like a five foot span four foot span it's massive and I have that one so and I normally put it on one side of the porch and I'm thinking of putting this on the other side of the porch because we have a massive porch so I have a lot of space to work with so I thought this would kind of like between this the other spider and our bat we and spider webs like We'd have a really fun display. And this was like, how much was this? I think this was like $10. And again, it gets really big. I think it's worth it for the price. These things, there's like, what, four legs on each side. So um, 
it's gonna look amazing and I'm super excited about it. All right, so let's get into the jack-o'-lanterns. Let me grab all of them and put them right in front of me so this will be much easier to show you everything. <laughs> we'll start with the small ones first. There's this little face. Love this one. I actually got two of this one. Super cute. You approve? Oh my gosh, look, she is like interested. She's like, oh, you say jack-o'-lanterns? I am in. I love it. I love the enthusiasm. You're with me, darling. Yes. All right, I'm just gonna, we'll just keep her. She's just, she's, she is here for it. The other small one I got, Gypsy's trying to get in on it. Oh my gosh, the cats are just excited, apparently. So the other small one I got is the little vampire teeth one. It is so, so cute. I love this. I'm, I'm gonna do like a whole jack-o'-lantern display on top of my armoire and I'm excited to find a whole bunch of different sizes. Next one I got was this face in the mediums, um, medium. This is actually gonna go on top of the little skeleton body in the kitchen. So I think this is cute. And these are all do light up. They are battery operated, which is so, so nice. So I don't have to worry about like trying to find a plug or make sure they can be near a plug. I can kind of put them wherever I need to. So I love that these are battery operated. So is Miss Darling here. I think the majority of everything, well, there's not a ton of other lights. The bat you do have to plug in, but um, jack lanterns all the ones I'm gonna show you are battery operated, which is really nice, especially if you're like me and you wanna put them kind of everywhere and you don't necessarily have access to a lot of plugs. And I think, now these are indoor use only. So let me look at this other one. I think all the small ones are indoor use only as well. And then I got this really big one. You can tell, obviously, I love the smile. I love the kind of like spookier faces because a lot of them are always that like very stereotypical jack-o'-lantern with the black teeth, which is cute, but I wanted kind of like a spookier looking face because um, that's just kind of more my vibe. <laughs> so let me check this one. Honestly, this one doesn't say if it's indoor or outdoor. I have a feeling it might be an indoor use only. Um, check the actual tag. I obviously took mine off already. This is just the battery tag. So, um, but I love the face. Super cute. Um, and these feel pretty well made for the price too. I'm really excited about it. Again, especially being battery operated. It's really, really nice. Okay, let me check. I think that was everything. I know this was an insanely long video for a haul, but I told you, I found a lot of amazing stuff. She's excited. I'm excited. It's just Oh, and you can see behind me, I've already, well, I don't know if you can tell, but I've already started doing my decorating. Um, so, well, it's about time. I should have started like two weeks ago, but it's been a whole thing. <laughs> I am behind, but I'm doing it. And I'm also filming the whole process, so definitely stay tuned for that. I will also be doing a bunch of Vlogtober videos. So again, if you have any ideas, suggestions for what you'd like to see, um, I know I did a post on my community tab, but I would definitely love to, you know, any ideas you have if you didn't already post on there, always welcome the ideas. I am doing, planning to do a bunch of different crafting videos, um, baking and savory cooking videos. Um, I might do like a jewelry haul to kind of show you all my favorite spooky jewelry. As you can see today, I'm wearing some little Sam earrings that I love. I got these from Im and Sprout, by the way, which you know I love. My necklace, I will actually be featuring this in a small business shout out. So the next one of those, you'll hear me talk about my little little witch pendant. I love her. You know, if you want a close up, look at her. She's so cute. Witch on a broom with a little cute hat and it's precious. But yeah, any suggestions you have down below, definitely feel free. Oh, I do wanna say thank you so much to Lisa. She sent me this amazing art piece um, from a local artist there in, she's somewhere in Massachusetts. I don't know if it's near Boston. I can't remember for sure. Um, I'll post a picture of the item right here, but it is so, so beautiful. Um, thank you so much, Lisa. And her daughter, Rosie, also wrote me a happy birthday card. Um, that is incredibly kind. I really appreciate it. Um, I do have a PO box now, so if you guys want to send me anything, you never have to, but I'm always, you know, you know I love some gifts. Um, <laughs> I am totally Lucy from <laughs> Charlie Brown sometimes, like presents for pretty girls, you know, that whole thing. <laughs> so I do have my PO box listed down in the description in case you ever want to send me anything or you find like 
fun Halloween card or you know you have a business and you want me to try something out feel free to do that I know I've had a couple businesses send me um, some crafting supplies I'm actually gonna be trying out so excited about that but anyway um, thank you so much to Lisa and then thank you to all of you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video let me know your favorite thing I bought out of the million things you know <laughs> and yeah hope you're doing a wonderful and I will see you in the next video bye